Hello, rugby fans. Here we go. Here we go. Let's just test some levels. Here we go. Here we go. Test some levels. Sounds good to me. How are we all? Rugby. Uh Shall we go with someone like Uruguay? Yeah, go Uruguay. Rightio. We're going Uruguay. Oh dear, we got France first up. Ardal. Echeverry. We got on the bench. Where is, um... Who is the big fullback? Favaro for Freitas. Yeah, that'll do. Let's just get stuck into a game, shall we? See how we do against Francais. Uh, we want that lovely orange away kit. Here we go. Come on, Uruguay. Here we go. First match. Of the Rugby World Cup. Hope you're well, Lewis. 
Hope you are well. I know Uruguay's kits are absolutely lush. I know Uruguay's kits are absolutely Here is the 15s. Gonna be hard work to beat France. Let's get into it anyway and see how we do. Into Mac. Gonna have to kick a bit of territory, aren't we? Not a bad kick. Gonna be hard work to beat France, and we're away. No offside. Bit unfair. He was trying to get back and ran into a mall uh, breakdown. Oh, Ramos going for the three already on the halfway line. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, he's missed. Oh, lovely. Not sure why Ramos has stood there, but Echeverry is going the whole length for the pitch. Boom. Some sort of glitch there for Ramos. England getting revenge against South Africa. I very much hope so. But I just cannot see it. I hope and pray that they do. But I cannot see it happening. Oh, we've absolutely shanked that kick. Five points to the good. Still don't know what happened there with uh, Thomas Ramos. Great task, bit of an offload to Etcheberry. You can see England beating him. I hope by all means you are right, my friend. Oh no, why are we offloading to absolutely no one? Go on, win it back. We're going to need to do some defending now. Dupont Crunch. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, the lead lasted long for Uruguay. Marchand. Thomas Ramos. No, no, sorry. Jaminet. To put France in the lead by two points. Two points. There we go. Echeverry, let's get it away. Oh, crunch and tackle on Dupont, not really. Yeah, it's going to be very, very hard to beat France. I think we only scored that first try because of a glitch, to be fair. Oh, no. Ah, oh, tackles going astray. Well, it was good while it was lasted, hey. Good while it lasted. This is a toughie for Ramos. Or Jaminet. Did he make it? Yep. Alright, let's concentrate now. Tackles everywhere. Seems so hard to take France down. Oh no, we've absolutely bottled it there. Yes, we've turned it over. 
Let Javeri get it away. Crunch in. Turn that one well. Um, oh, he's knocked it on. It, I don't think it is on Elite, no. I had a funny feeling I was going to be choosing one of the lower teams, so... That's very... Oh, going back on himself. Well, let's play properly now. Nice. Here we go. Great. Ah. Pano is so quick. You can't take him down. What'd you do with that, eh? What'd you do with that? Went through about four tackles. Over the posts. Let's go for a little there. Uh... Oh, no, don't they? No mercy at all. Oh, that's a knock-on. Knock-on. No? Went backwards? Offload. First, brushing through tackles. No mercy at all. One side. Ugh. It is just impossible. It doesn't help that I keep looking uh, down at the chat. Turn that over, yes. Right, let's go. Let's do, use some forward play a minute. See if that can get us through a few gaps. Hard out. Nice. Halfway up the pitch now. Clock's in the red. Ah, oh, we've knocked it on, haven't we? We have knocked it on. Advantage, France. Is the ball unplayable in the ruck? Nope, that's half time. They win every ruck. Takes 400 men to tackle their players. Overpowered, to say the least. Ah. Oh. Absolute madness. Not really ever played as a lower nation before. And I don't think I will be again. Right, slow down, slow down. There we go. What's happened? Ugh, they're taking another three. Absolutely no mercy. He's missed that though, hasn't he? Hit the post. Pick it up. There's anyone one more pass there. Right, let's see what they're like under the high ball. Not a bad chase. Somehow they've still won it. I mean, if we could score one more try, that would be a win. One more try, come on. There we go, we turned it over. 
Come on, the Uruguayans. Offload. Oh, Dow! Yeah, I think he is taking a nap. He's a bit bored by this, to be honest. He's not really had too much to do, has he? Here we go. Echeverry, that's got... Ah, Jesus Christ. Turn the ball over again. The nose away. Now we've turned it over. Right. Get rid of it. High ball. Oh, what's happened there? That went forward, didn't it? Takes an absolute. We're away now. Come on. Ah. Why did it take so long to go back? Oh, and they're taking another three. Death by French penalties. No way he's missed. He's never missed. He has missed. Right, chase it. Again. Oh. Pass it straight to us. Go, go, go. Oh, why was the pass so slow? So slow and loopy. Right, well, I guess we need to be Italy and the All Blacks to qualify. That's out, he stepped out. Looked like he stepped out. Hello, Matthew Dixon. Certainly is the greatest rugby game of all time. But finally, they're not taking the three. Oh, Aldrich has just barged through everyone. Just barged through everyone. Put us out of our misery, come on. Let's go for a little up and under. Oh, that's going to be... I mean, I thought that was a good chase, to be fair. Yellow card coming, red card coming. Are we going to be without one of our players for the next game? That seems to be alright. Oh. Get it. Even when the ball goes loose, it's just not falling to any of us. I know, right? When did this game come out? 2007? People are still playing it, still modding it. Still the absolute greatest. Unfortunately, that's the first game of this World Cup campaign down. DuPont celebrating like he's won the World Cup. Not sure why. Who's the next game? Is it Italy? Can't remember to be fair. Yep, Italy. We'll go orange again. Let's see if we can do a bit better against them Italians. Against the old pizzerias.
Um, I've got it for free, Christopher. Uh, Christopher? Mm -hmm. Matthew? I have a tutorial on my channel where you can download this game for free and then you can mod it to get all of the Rugby World Cup and updated kits and things like that. There's the Italian team. My tutorial is called How to Mod Rug Rugby 08 and then in the description is a link where to download this game for free. And then if you follow the tutorial and the steps you can download the mods. Which will give you the current day kits, lineup, stuff like that. Right. I don't know if we had a line out against France. Nah, we've not won that one though. Garbisi. Have we kept it in? We have. Oh, nice from Silver. Ah, I knew, just knew we weren't going to get any support on that one. Oh, that's gone out, isn't it? That was already out. Um, technically, Lewis, yes. But it is... I have a controller. But I use an app called Anti-Micro. Which maps the keys to... This controller buttons. So technically, I am playing keyboard. But it's just... Oh, we've offloaded it straight to an Italian player. Crunch. So yeah, it's not officially playable with controller. You have to use the software to map it. No, no chance in anything. Nice chase down there. You got the advantage here. Still got the advantage. What have you got to tell me, Matthew? Oh, yes, I was away. Offload. Here we go. Come on, we're there. Are you, are you over? Oh no. Oh no. 32 12. Who's unplayable in the ruck? Can you believe it? Have we got some South African taunting going on in here? Oh, we won the scrum. Echeverry. Oh, no. They've turned it over on the line. Unbelievable. So, so close to a Uruguay try. Right, let's get them all going. Out, come on. That's a very crunch. I can't believe England are gonna beat the spring box. Oh, they've turned it over again, that's what it's like playing as one of these teams. As soon as they've got your isolated. Right we go, another one. Now England have got no hope, no hope at all. Of course, I'll be cheering them on because they're my team. I obviously want them to win. But I cannot see it happening. Oh, I can't believe all this territory. It's almost half time. We've still not managed to score anything. Oh, it's going to be a 
Penalty to Italy now. Dangerous tackle. And that is going to get them up the pitch. As long as it's a good game, Matt. That's the main thing. As long as we make it respectable. Hello, Jelly Fan. Good evening, me old mucker. Oh, lovely chase down. Hmm. No, I was debating having a kick at goal, but from almost the halfway line, I don't think the Uruguayan stats would quite do the business for us. Right, come on, let's get that ball going. Um, yeah, I think England probably have a slightly better chance than Argentina, but I don't think either team are going to win, to be honest, which is sad to see. Oh, that is a clothesline from hell. That's got to be a penalty. If that was modern day rugby, that would be a red card. No hesitations. I mean, we've got to take the three, haven't we? We've got to win this game. Got to take the three. Oh, only just. Only just. I know, right? How are you, Jelly Fan? You right? We are just playing on the greatest rugby video game of all time. Doing a cheeky little World Cup playthrough as Uruguay, chosen by Lewis. Oh, and that's a knock on. It's got to be a knock on. Nope. Yeah, man, rugby was tough back in the day. Not even yellow for that. It's like something you would see in the WWE. Ah, we just keep losing lineouts. Certainly changed for the better, mate. Got to think of the players, haven't we? Doddy. Oh, nice. Oh, see, as soon as they're isolated, the turnover comes. Oh, no. Whew, get him into touch. Barbisi and Fischetti, no. No. Yes. Wow, what a turnover. Get rid of it. Um, do you play or played rugby? I did play rugby at school for several years I was a winger barely nippy back in the day dislocated my thumb Barney why is he kicking it there now if I was South Africa I'd be scrumming from the mark wouldn't I but we'll be punting it let's see Let's go there. Oh, he's got quite a boot, old silver. Hello, Philippe. How are you? I think the All Blacks will probably win quite comfortably. Argentina have beaten them, haven't they, in the last few years in like the Rugby Championship, but this is a different kettle of fish. This is a World Cup semi-final when the pressure is on. Oh no. That's got to be in touch. 
Oh, we got ourselves a penalty. Not not taking a quick one. Oh, and we got a bit of a scrappy scrap. Again, another thing like the high tackles. No cards branded for a scrap on this game. Cheslin Colby, you can't catch me unless you're an England player. Cheslin Colby's going to be in Johnny May's pocket on Sunday, uh, Saturday. <laughs> of course, I'm only joking. Oh, no, we didn't quite find touch. Disaster. That's out. That is out. Lovely tackle. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to play a bit boring here. Get the old mall going. Soak up some clock. Get up to the halfway line. Echeverry with the up and under. Ah, oh, nice take, Diana. Dotty. Ardo. Pause. Do you think the All Blacks are going to win by a margin of more than 20 points? Because it's the same time over there. I mean, the All Blacks are certainly playing like. Oh, that's another high tackle. They're certainly playing like a uh, team who could win by 20 or more points at the minute. Particularly because of that reason. Argentina aren't doing uh, too well defensively. Of course, that game against England, they're an absolute shambles. But in a World Cup semi final, even on the best, even for the best of teams, the pressure is on. Oh, another lovely take, but they've won it back. The pressure is on. I don't think you you see many. That's a knock on. You don't see many teams winning by massive amounts of points just because it's such a pressure-filled game and could go either way. Um, I think the All Blacks will win, and they will probably win win comfortably, but. I say comfortably like, I don't know, inside, gotta be, we've gotta try, I reckon the All Blacks by sort of 15, 17 points would be, would be how I'm thinking, Mirez, it's try time baby, Got to knock this over. And then you would think that is the game wrapped up. What do we got left? Two minutes left. Let's just keep hold of the ball. Keep hold of the ball. Right, we'll go one more phase and then we'll knock it out. Here we go. Get it out. Echeverry into the stands. We've got our first win. We've beaten the Italians. Trying to win the Rugby World Cup with Uruguay. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it, Jelly, but we lost our first game to France, so it is going to be pretty tricky. But we're going to give it our all, of course. With the mighty Uruguayans. Namibia next up. Let's take a look at the standings. All Blacks. Oh, the All Blacks have beaten France as well. Let's look at Pool B. Oh, South Africa have lost too. Ireland are perfect. And I'm guessing they've lost to Scotland as well. South Africa could be out. Wales, perfect. Australia, Fiji, and Georgia. Of course the mighty England haven't lost. Come on! But yeah, that's interesting. The spring box. Perfect. And for the other semi-final, what do you think of South Africa, England? Um, I think England are going to win 120 points to three. Um, Johnny May's going to score 17 tries. Owen Farrell's going to score 28 drop goals. It's going to be fairly comfortable, I'd say. Oh, go back. We don't want the home kit from Namibia. 
away. Why is it stuck there? Right, let's get into it. Why is it doing that? I do not know. Light work for England, yeah, no problem. Um, no, I think probably South Africa by 10 to 17 points. No, that doesn't really quite offer you any real guidance, but hey ho. Oh, Namibia have got their home kit. Just trying to change it. There's the Namibia team. I lost me live chat now. There we go. Light work for England, of course. Mad Dragon. How are we doing, my friend? Hope you are well. Yeah, I think, in all honesty, Uruguay and Portugal are picks one and two for Rugby 24 when that comes out in uh, 2033. After all the delays. Oh, lovely fend off. Right, we need another win here. You're playing Rugby 08 is the Springboks, are you, Jelly? Well, they haven't got off to a great start on this campaign, that's for sure. Hard out, offload for Taya. Oh, we've got a body down, body down. Yeah, in all fairness, I think if Mark, even if Marcus Smith was fit, I think they would still probably go with Freddie Stewart just because of his skills under the high ball. And I think... Oh! Oh, lovely little grubber there. Yeah, I think England are just going to bombard South Africa with kicks, if I'm being honest. Try time. Oh, not quite. Try time. There's the first one. Yeah, I think England, obviously, with the selections they've made in the forward pack as well, going with Marler and Cole over Genj and Sinclair. Um, they're going to try and front up to them. I literally think every time England's going to get the ball, they're going to kick it. It's gonna, there's going to be up and unders. Freddie Stewart's going to be chasing it. He's going to be using his height, trying to catch it, causing the spring box problems this way. Because you don't... I mean, we all know England haven't got much chance anyway, no matter how much I don't want to say that. Um, lovely kick. Seven to the good. But you don't really want to run at the spring box, do you? The only thing, obviously, would then be if you're kicking it a lot and you've got the likes of Colby, etc., running at you, you're getting yourself in trouble that way as well. So, oh no, we're missing tackles everywhere. So, yeah, it's like death by a thousand different ways of losing a rugby match I think they will just kick them to death hope that Freddie Stewart gets on one of the on the end of one of those 50 50 up and unders perhaps win a penalty perhaps get into a position for a drop goal in all honesty I wouldn't be surprised if England are nowhere near scoring a try I think they would have to get seriously lucky a South Africa mistake or something like that Johnny May and Elliot Daly versus Colby and Aranza. It's going to be a struggle. Go on, win that back. There we go. Oh, another grubber, which wasn't meant to be a grubber. That's a knock on. That'll do, lovely. For some reason I've lost me chat again.
Scrum time. Owen Farrell tackle. I mean, that's the only way we're going to be able to beat the Springboks. Farrell is going to be tackling head height. Straight at Colby. I mean, Colby's an absolute midget anyway, isn't he? So, a normal height tackle on him would be high. Dottie with the grubber. Lovely stuff. Offloading it. I mean, really, we could probably do with a bonus point in this game, couldn't we? If we're going to stand any chance. Cool. That was a crunching hit as well. Arata, one more. Oh, he was just about to dive down and they've turned it over. Luckily for us, penalty. Um, yeah, we're going to punt and then we're going to maul over the line. That's the plan. Do with a bonus point. The worst case scenario in either semi finals, we see a red card. Unless it's for the All Blacks or the Springboks, because then it would make the games a lot more lively. Look at this Uruguayan power. Go down. There we go. There's the second. Yeah, you don't really want two World Cup semi-finals ruined by cards it's a sad state of affairs it really is four more games and then we've not got a World Cup for another four years and it's over in Australia better get the alarm clock set already it's going to be a few early mornings We started this game well anyway. Oh, that was away. Inside. Frietas. Oh, we've knocked it on now. Advantage Namibia. They've gone for the up and under. It's incredible these mods, it really is. Every time I load up this Rugby World Cup mode, I'm blown away. I don't know if you guys have been watching along with the series. I've been playing through the Rugby World Cup as England on the channel. Oh, that is another high tackle. That's got to be a penalty. But yeah, if you're watching that series, I have recorded to the end of that series and there is some spectacular graphics in that towards the end of the World Cup. Now let's see if this glitches. Sometimes, like that, you've got a penalty, you kick it into touch and it goes to half time. But of course this game came out in 2007, so we can't complain about a few glitches, particularly when there's thousands and thousands of mods running on it. Oh, that's a good chase down. That is a beautiful chase down. Try number three. Hopefully Rugby 24 will be just as good. You would like to think that Rugby 24 will be miles better than the game that came out in 2007. I know I get the comment all the time that just having Rugby 08, the base gameplay, modded with current day graphics. Yes, it would be a very, very good game. You want more. We want more, don't we? We want a fantastic career mode that we could play for years and years. Lots of detail. Lots one thing that Rugby 08 gets, um, does better than most sports games even today is the little cutscenes, the fights, the injuries, the referee talking to players. Um, just adds that immersion. 
Uh, Jelly fan conceded a penalty because my throw was not straight. Yeah, that can be a bit of a pain sometimes. Yes, Mad Dragon. Yeah, like I said, my alarm is going to be going into overdrive. We are spoilt for this at this World Cup being in France. Just the one hour time difference for us. But what comes around goes around, I suppose. There's a lot of uh, Southern Hemisphere fans who are suffering the same fate currently. Having to get up in the early hours. No, oh, we've turned it over. Scotland handling in the ruck. Yeah, that's the dirty Scottish for you. They'll try anything. <laughs> Of course, the good thing about the World Cup being in Australia is the fact that what happened the last time the World Cup was in Australia? Johnny Wilkinson for the World Cup. In four more years, will Stevie B, Steve Borthwick have the boys? Oh, we've missed touch. Firing on all cylinders where they can challenge for a World Cup. What will happen to Ireland now with Mr. Sexton retiring? Up and under. We need one more try for that bonus point. Will we do it? England cheated? What are you on about, Matthew? Oh. And maybe I've won the line up there. I mean, it's, it's quite depressing, really, when you think about it. Like, the World Cup has been fantastic for teams like Uruguay, for Portugal, and the likes. And the fact that we're not going to see them showcased on any sort of grand stage of rugby for another four years. Quite embarrassing, really. One second, just got to take a phone call. We'll be back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Just had to take a phone call. The joys of being the manager of a shop. Having to take phone calls at all times of the day if something's going wrong. Don't worry, the shop's not on fire. I am the manager of a bookies in Taunton. Don't ask for any tips because... I don't have a great track record. I backed France to win the Rugby World Cup. We all know how that's gone. Terrible kick there. This man would love to see France win the next cup. I mean, yeah, France can have a good chance, aren't they? Because a lot of their players are still fairly young. That is going to be their big chance. I think this World Cup was Ireland's big chance. Of 
course, they do have a conveyor belt of talent, particularly coming through uh, Leinster. Advantage Uruguay. Are we going to get that bonus try? That bonus point try? Go on, win that. Ah. Why are you kicking there? Well, that what? Was that on the fall? You've been having a bet, Mad Dragon? Yeah, the key with gambling is just keeping it all in control and having fun. That is the hard part. I see it on a daily basis, people getting into trouble, particularly with uh, gambling machines. A bit of roulette and slot machines and stuff like that. The key is just betting within your means. If that's £20 a week on the rugby and it goes down, so be it. You've had a bit of extra fun. Like I said, I back France to win. I think tomorrow I will be putting a little bit on South Africa to win the World Cup. Just to maybe cover some of the losses from uh, backing France to win the Rugby World Cup. They are short price favourites, but I don't know. I get the feeling that if it's a Springboks All Blacks final, as we saw in the Twickenham warm-up game, Oh no. For whatever reason, the game has crashed. EA Sports. And that is unfortunately what you get with these modded games sometimes. Let's see if I can get it back up. I think that's also where fantasy rugby helps a lot as well. You sort of get the same thrill that you do for gambling and it doesn't cost you any money certainly been an enjoy enjoyable experience for me is that you gone Matthew unbelievable unbelievable anyone want to call out some teams that they want to play I mean shall I still play that Should we still play that um, Uruguay All Blacks game just to see how it would have went? Yeah, let's play it. Let's play it and just see what would have happened. It would have been it. It would have been Uruguay versus the All Blacks for a place in the quarterfinals of the Rugby World Cup. Yeah, unfortunately, Jelly Fan, the fact that, as you can see on the screen right now, the fact that it has thousands and thousands of mods running on a game that came out in 2007, sometimes you are going to get issues. If you're playing tournaments, if you're playing World Cups, things like that, it is important to save at every point. Unfortunately, I made a rookie mistake, and I did not save the game there. Let's see what would have happened anyway. I mean, obviously if we win this, it's going to be slightly disappointing because we can't finish the story. You know the All Blacks were going to turn that over. And we got another scrap on. This is what I mean. Cut scenes like this. I mean, of course, in modern day rugby, there's going to be a red card straight away with the fighting and the high tackles and things. But just adding stuff like that. Imagine if you could get. Throws not straight. Imagine if a player takes a knock, you get like a physio coming onto the field, stuff like that. Any sort of cut scenes. I mean, if you don't want to watch them, you just skip them. But for the rugby gaming noises like ourselves. Things like this. Having a little look at Geordie Barrett there. He's wiping off his brow. Proud in the background. Jumping up and down.
had so much. I hope the career mode has a fair amount of cutscenes and things, I really do, to break up the game. Bang. Nice kick, nice kick. And because we're terrible with the line out, Chimawanga. There we go, just what I said. Terrible with a line out. It's probably going to lead to some sort of New Zealand steal, which it does. Rico Ioni. Oh, what a time for a turnover. Echeverry away into touch. They've gone for the quick one which has gone absolutely nowhere except to a Uruguay player. Is there a fullback in position? I don't think there is. Oh, so close. And they've turned it over. Unbelievable. We've almost gone the length of the pitch. The Uruguay player just doesn't quite have the speed to go all the way. Sevens mode. I mean... There was a sevens mode on Rugby Challenge 4, and I think I played it maybe once. I think they should just focus on getting the 15s correct, getting the gameplay correct. I know there's not going to be any women's rugby, for example, as well in Rugby 24. Oh, what a fend-off. What a fend-off. And we're in. Oh, no, he's dropped the ball. Was that a try? He is knocked it on. After this wonderful full piece of skill, he is knocked it on. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He's done all the hard work. Yeah, so basically sevens. I would be happy if there was no sevens and women's rugby and they just concentrated on the base game. Get the 15 star of rugby perfect. Career mode, lots of content, stuff like that. And then slowly bring it in. I mean, if anything, I would probably prefer them to bring in women's rugby before sevens. I know they're definitely not bringing it into this game. Oh, we've gone out with it. As that has already been confirmed. But for a rugby 26... I cannot believe that. That was our big chance. Lovely tackle. Will Jordan's away. He's still going. He's still going. There we go. Absolute madness. We had a try. They dropped the ball. And the All Blacks have gone down the other way. No way you seriously prefer women's rugby over sevens. Probably. Just because I want them to stick with one type of rugby. 15s rugby. Get that absolutely spot on. Bring in other game modes like that later on down the line in future games let's just get the base game running playing perfectly I mean you can even bring sevens in a patch well it looks like we wouldn't have made it through to the ah, just missed Barrett there Long way to go, long way to go still. That is a hit and a half. I would love a tackle animation like that in Rugby 24. Thing is with me, I like the animation so much, I tackle like that way too often. Yeah, that's all I meant, R1. I do enjoy Sevens Rugby. That is a hell of a kick, is it going to go out? Oof.
what would I change to make Rugby 08 better gameplay wise? Um, I don't know if there's much to be honest. I mean, the joy of Rugby 08, particularly back in the day, was how pick up and play it could be. Like, I would play it with my brother, for example, as the All Blacks score another try, who is not a rugby fan. I could stick a controller in his hand. I'll have, an, I'll have another controller. And he could just pick it up and understand the button straight away. Everything's so simple. That's the thing with games these days. They just make it, in my opinion, they make things overcomplicated. Look at the fun you used to have on the, on Joan Aluma Rugby as well. That's just pure button bashing. But I think the key to a good modern game is having that balance of being able to have the fun arcade style play like a Rugby 08 but having the option and availability oh look at this oh look at this up to the halfway line of adding in more intense controls if you want particularly for solo players in like a career mode so you know if you wanted to add in set piece moves things like that you can but it's not necessary I think what they do well is in the cricket games where they've got like three levels of controls um, you've got like the arcade ones, you've got the professional ones and then you've got ones that are a mixture of both I think something like that would be pretty good Whoa. are we going to go over before half time we are so close Oh, why does it do this? The ball's unplayable in the ruck. Look how close we are to that line. And we're going to turn it over now. And it's going to be half time. A try there would have been fantastic. Let's bring in the second half and see what we do. Yeah, so there isn't really... Yeah, Rugby 06... In all fairness, I didn't really play Rugby 06. I played Jonah Lomu Rugby for many, many years. And then I had a little phase where I didn't really um, follow rugby so much for a few years. And then I got back into it around the time Rugby 08 came out. Showing my age, of course, but that was when Juno Lomu Rugby, the 1999 Rugby World Cup in England. I went and saw England versus Tonga with my school. England put 100 odd points on Tonga. It was an incredible day. And um, yeah, I remember buying a little mini rugby ball when I was at the game. Took it back to school. The throw's not straight again. Joined the school rugby team, and that is how I got into rugby back in 1999. I like the idea of different complexities controls, generally easy access for everyone, but some companies. Yeah, exactly. That was basically the point I was trying to make, but you've made the point a lot better there, Mad Dragon. Like I said, with the Big Ant cricket games, so much option there. Of course, if you go online, you've probably got to standardise it, of course. Having the option. Oh, the All Blacks are going nowhere here. Taking their time. What am I thinking about the Rugby World Cup so far? As like all World Cups, absolutely spectacular. A couple of months of some of the greatest rugby. Look at that. Sidestep, giving the ball away. A couple of months of the greatest rugby around. It's on terrestrial TV. Everyone can watch it. Even non-rugby fans get involved and watch it. I mean, through my job at work, I talk a lot of sport. 
and mostly it's football and stuff like that. That's what everyone wants to talk about. But during the Rugby World Cup is brilliant because I get to chat rugby with them all. They all get involved. For so those two months, it's on terrestrial TV. We've had four incredible quarterfinals, some of the best rugby around. But then, unfortunately, once it's over, that's it for four years. I mean, in my own experience, the Six Nation doesn't really have... I mean, a lot of people watch it. A lot of people get involved. It's on terrestrial TV. But it's not... That's a try, isn't it? Yes. But it's not quite the same as the World Cup. Doesn't matter what sport it is, World Cups really get the juices flowing. The likes of Portugal, the likes of Uruguay, not seeing them again for four years. I mean, the buzz around that Portugal game when they beat Fiji, the emotion. That's what we want to see on a regular basis. Hopefully, hopefully, World Rugby, and in particular the RFU, can pull their finger out and finally get like a two-tiered Six Nations and a two-tiered Rugby Championship. Street Fighter 6 had different controls too so the new players can do the hard combos. Yeah, that's what I mean, just it's what um, me and Mad Dragon sort of talking about really, is just having that accessibility. That is why, un unfortunately, that is why people still remember the Rugby 08s and the John Jonah Lomu Rugby's because of how easy they are to play and like I gave my suggestion my brother who's a big football man back in the day he had no idea about rugby he could pick up the game he could play it and have a load of fun and that's how you get new players oh where's the fullback the fullback's nowhere to be seen we've got another one is the comeback of all comebacks on using a stick yeah ah. for the more pro players just having so much different options would be fantastic I mean I'm trying to think of now how you, could, you can't really do like a pass stick for rugby could you because you probably end up chucking it forward all the time I mean, there's only really one direct, two directions a rugby pass can go. Um, but I know what you mean. Just that extra piece of uh, immersion for the for the pro players, like you say. If you're new to the game and you pick it up, all you want to do is press the arrows and the face button. You have that option. If you want to go a bit further, if you want to use the D-pad for set pieces, moves like that different skills, having the option to do different skills, side steps, goose steps, things like that. Just depends on the player, you just want the game. Oh, has that gone over? Just about, I think. Whew. You just want the game to give you those options for whatever type of person is playing the game. If you're a guy who just wants a quick button bash, brilliant, you can pick it up. If you're a guy who wants to delve more into it, brilliant, you can pick it up and do those more advanced controls. It's just having those options. Get up! Get up! Tackle, tackle, tackle! Always unplayable in the rock, is it? Yeah, you could get good enough to make your own set plays. I mean, that would be something they could... I mean, they're obviously huge on customization, Big Ants. Big Ant. Here we go, scrap on. The game's getting gritty now. It could go either way. Players are being pulled apart. Of course, this is rugby in 2007, so there'll be no cards. Or will there? The referee's coming in. Look at all this. Just the fun that this cutscene is. How excited it gets you. Yeah, like having customizable set plays. I know we've had set plays on like the modern rugby games, but being able to create your own ones different styles yeah we all want to see more games between tier 1 and tier 2 Lewis but not just friendlies not just friendlies competitive promotion relegation oh look at this the sidestep is this the winning try for Uruguay boom 
boom what a filthy sidestep that was just look at how much fun you can have with a simple game with simple controls simple graphics Odin Barrett looking depressed what a finish what a finish bit of wind here going from left to right 16 kilometers we're gonna go there I think it's a small stadium so it could be oh that's about perfect that is about perfect 2117 to Uruguay so that means if we were still in Rugby World Cup mode we would have made the quarterfinals and we would have played what South Africa or Ireland Dotty bursting through Gatas oh balls turned over balls turned over Are the All Blacks gonna have one more chance have I written them off too soon Um, well, it's funny you should say about a World League for clubs because the rumour coming out currently is that the Premiership in the URC may be joining up. I mean, we've heard it a few times before. As we kick it into the stands, the biggest upset in world rugby history. The mighty All Blacks have fallen to Uruguay. Um, yeah, that seems to be the rumour doing the rounds at the minute some sort of Super League, the URC, the Premiership. For me, that's an absolute no-no. I mean, you've got the European Cup, where you can play teams from France, teams from the URC, teams from the Premiership. It completely devalues that. You may as well get rid of that completely. And then how do you split it up? I mean, you can't have all 10 Premiership teams with the, all of the teams in the URC. You would have to split it up. And then if that's the case, how, you know, say me as a Bristol fan, Bristol end up going into a second division. They're not going to sell as many tickets. They're not playing as many big teams. Um, it just overcomplicates things. I don't know what rugby's problem is with just overcomplicating things all the time. Why have you got to have this multi-team league? Just have the Premiership, have the URC, have the French Leagues, the French, if you have to, to make that better, that is your.
All right, here we go then. Rugby World Cup semi-final preview. Ben Youngs. Ugh. Henry Slade. Wrong kicking button selected. Hassel Collins. Chase down challenge. Pollard. Straight into sinks. What are your guys' score predictions for this England-South Africa game? Drop them down in the comments. Who is the best rugby team in the world right now, do I think? Ouch, that is... Um, I take it we're talking international teams. Um, I mean, probably South Africa. Just because they can win any sort of match on any given day. Henry Slade out to Max Malins. But try number one, until they come up against England, of course. Um, yeah, probably, I mean, before the World Cup, I probably would have said France. And France, I mean, you think that game against South Africa, one point, you had the Cheslin Colby chase down for the conversion, that would have been an extra two points if he'd have made it, they would have won by a point I mean, the thing is with probably the best team at winning is South Africa, if that makes sense, but the best actual rugby playing team is probably France that first 15-20 minutes against South Africa was incredible as the French would say some of the best rugby I've ever seen. I was on, you know, it's usually only teams I support that I get on the edge of my seat for, but for that game, holy moly, I was on the edge of my seat for that first 20 minutes and I was screaming. I was, every time there was an offload or whatever there was, I was going, ah, ah. It was incredible. And I think France, a prop, maybe the All Black. Blacks in their pomp when they get going. But I think France are probably the only team who can make me feel like that. Watching rugby. Marcus Smith. Is this a sign of things to come? This is a sign of things to come. On Saturday, the Springboks have already absolutely bottled it. Ten minutes gone and England has scored two tries. I think we're looking into a crystal ball here. Maybe my England 120, South Africa 3 prediction isn't far away. Bang. Yeah, they did make some stupid mistakes. I mean, South Africa, to their credit, were clinical, weren't they? Were very, very clinical. Every time France made a mistake, they capitalised. which is to their credit but if you said to me what team if you could only watch one rugby team for the rest of your life who would it be you could not watch any other rugby teams had to be just one it would probably be France like I said South Africa are probably the best team at winning games but not necessarily in the most attractive ways Oh, Faf has given me the ball from the scrum. Ben Youngs. Marcus Smith just walking through South African defences. Oh, we've knocked that on now, haven't we? Sinclair, where's this pace come from? Oh, he's knocked that on now, advantage South Africa. Which fans are the best and which fans are the worst? I mean, the best fans for me in club rugby is the French fans by far. You see some of the scenes uh, when La Rochelle won the Champions Cup. The streets were packed thousands and thousands and thousands. But as far as international fans go, 
I mean, the Irish are good. Nothing like a bit of, I'm in your head, in your head, zombie. Um, oh, crunching, high tackle, red card on a toji there. Um, one second. I'm going to have to take a quick pause again.
I'm back. I'm back. Get my screen back into place. Apologies, the old dog needed to be let out. And I've grabbed a drink. And my green screen is not going how I want it to go. There we go. Let's get back into it. Here we go then. Worst fans. Worst fans. That is a lemonade. How do I say the worst fans without offending anyone? I mean the Springbok fans are the most passionate, should we say? Which means they can certainly get on your case. As an Englishman, not a big fan of the Welsh, but they do provide a brilliant atmosphere. Of course, that's just domestic rivalry, however you want to say it. But yeah, it's not really something I would like to voice an opinion on online, particularly. Freddie Stewart for England. Offload. Sam Simmons is in the old squad. Ludlam. I never said the Springboks were the worst. I just said they were the most passionate. Marcus Smith's away again. Pass to Hassel Collins. Oh, little grubber. Oh, damn it. We're just playing with the spring box now. We're just playing with them. One more. Max Malins is away again. Oh, lovely. Not sure how he's managed to get about past about three defenders there. Look at this. Sidestep. Brushed off the tackle. Oh, R1, well, you're such a gentleman. Don't worry. I know I'm in for a load of grief if South Africa win the World Cup. At the start of the World Cup, I posted a video. The video was titled... Why the Springboks will choke at the Rugby World Cup 2023. And I got a lot of stick in the comments of that video. And at the minute, I'm being proven wrong. So if they end up winning the World Cup, then... I'm in for a bit of stick. Hello, Todd Burge. Come on, Bath. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Don't ruin my Thursday night like that. I haven't got a bucket with me. Maybe after this we should do the Bristol Bears versus Bath. Just so we can give Bath a spanking. Drop goal, Henry Slade. Oh Jesus, I didn't realise I was that far out. Mark. New Zealand South Africa final, yeah that is more than likely. Who would come out on top in that final if it was the All Blacks versus the Springboks? I'd probably say the Springboks just because they're probably in the All Blacks head. After that absolute shellacking they gave them at Twickenham. Has that not gone over?
don't know how Marcus Smith missed that one. I did a fun hypothetical video before Eddie Jones took over about how Australia could be dark horses in the World Cup. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it couldn't really have gone much worse for Eddie Jones, could it? Battered by Fiji. Demolished by the Welsh. Yeah, you go for it, Jelly Fan. You do a Six Nations. As long as you're playing as England and as long as you get the Grand Slam. That is your task. Um, Wales are English biggest rivals. I mean, it's a tricky one, really. It's between Wales and Scotland, I would say. Of course, you've got the Calcutta Cup. So, uh, yeah, between those two. Hello, Luke Lyon. Hope you're well, mate. First stream you finally made. Well done. Unfortunately, I've been going for two two hours or so, so you're at the, the end of it, I would say. Smith. Marchant, Henry Slade, um, but New Zealand likes having some even though they also don't think it bothers them that much. I mean, probably not. It probably affected that South Africa friendly result, probably affected them more for the France game in the World Cup, as that was the first one. Oh, Smithy! Um, yeah, they, since that France loss, they have just come into their own. And they're not just beating teams, they are absolutely walloping teams. Freddie Stewart chasing his own grubber. And again. Unbelievable. I'm just playing with the spring box. Just like England, they're going to play with them on Saturday night. Yeah, it's a shame there hasn't been a bit more communication, Luke. But I think we know why. The game obviously wasn't ready. He didn't want to showcase anything. Because they basically had nothing to show or the game wasn't ready. Fingers crossed that this... Oh, what a hit from Hassel Collins. Fingers crossed this January release date will get a bit of build-up. But then even with their Cricket 24 game, um, they only really started promoting the game properly with screenshots and a trailer the week before the game came out. So I wouldn't get your hopes up to get much detail, gameplay, screenshots or anything like that until probably January at some point, probably a, a couple of weeks before the game if we're going to follow their similar pattern. Ooh. Chase that Freddy. High ball. He's going to catch so many high balls in real life against a spring box. Um, man, how can I get Rugby Challenge 4? It's not on Steam anymore. No, they took the game down, Jelly Fan, because their licenses run out. Which means hopefully Rugby 24 will have picked them up. Smith with a drop goal. That one's over. There we go. Wouldn't be England without a drop goal. Imagine if EA continued with rugby and it was active calibre of feet because no area. Yeah, it would be absolutely incredible R1. But unfortunately, the money just isn't there in niche sport games. Otherwise, I'm sure they would still be doing it. You think back to when they had Rugby 08. They also had cricket games. Um, they had NHL, NBA, all that sort of stuff. And only the really the games that kept going were the ones that were making them a lot of money. Even NBA they don't do anymore. I think now it's just what FIFA and NHL for EA Sports. Uh, of course they're F1 now as well, aren't they? Um, so you've got that as well. Oh, Freddie Stewart. 
Yeah, they took the game out. Are we talking about Rugby Challenge, Challenge Lewis? Yeah, the licenses on the game run out, so they weren't legally allowed to sell the game anymore, which is why you cannot pick it up officially. I'm not sure why. I mean, surely in the history of games, licenses have run out for many a team and many a game. I just subscribed to your channel. Cheers, Todd Burge. I've almost forgiven the bath comment now. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, of course, they've got NFL as well. The Madden series. Is Rugby 08 free? Yes, Rugby 08 is free. If you head to my How to Mod Rugby 08 tutorial video, there is a link to download Rugby 08 for free. Um, I used to have a video showing you exactly how to download it for free, but unfortunately that got taken down many many months ago because of course I sp suppose I'm promoting games being bought for free um, so yeah in that tutorial how to mod video the game link is in the description download that for free and then just follow the tutorial to get the mods of all these latest teams and we've already been playing in the World Cup we've got all the World Cup mods on there which is fantastic Carl Sinclair with the grubber so yeah just follow that that tutorial and it should let you experience this game in all the joys can it be on like a PS5 controller that is the only thing the controllers are an issue I play on a standard like PC controller and I've got to use the anti micro software to map the keyboard keys to this controller so it can get a fair bit complicated but I think the PS5 and PS4 ones are okay oh I am going the length of the pitch oh the game's over the game's over we just got to kick the ball out when we feel like it when do we feel like it oh ok let's do it now you know, I'm pretty sure PS5 and PS4 controller is fine, Luke. I think it's just Xbox where you start getting trouble. So there we go. That is exactly what is going to happen Saturday night in the Rugby World Cup. England playing with the spring box like a toy. Yeah. South Africa England gonna be an exciting game. I really hope it is an exciting game. Really, really hope. That's all I want from England. I'm not expecting them to win. I would just like them to put up a respectable performance. Cricket 07, did you play it? Yes, I did play the old EA Sports Cricket games for a period. Um, who should we play a couple of games as now? I'll stay on for another couple. Do a couple of World Cup games again. Yeah, I remember the A Sports Cricket games being fairly good. Japan? Romania? Romania could be fun. Samoa? Ireland versus New Zealand. Well, I've got to pick one team. Tonga. We've done a few games as Uruguay. Argentina. Fiji. Wales. Uh, no chance. Be someone different. What about Romania? Should we do Romania? Cheers, R1. Enjoy your evening, my friend. Best of luck with a client in the morning. Night all. Night to you too, sir. Right, let's have a bit of fun then. Romania against Ireland. Oh dear God. This could be a massacre.
There we go, the beautiful Rugby World Cup mods on show. 70-0, could well be Luke. The national anthems, hang on, got to pay our respect to the national anthem of Romania. They are spectacular. Jim over on the rugby forum does all the hard work. Look at the stadium as well. Look at all the correct World Cup graphics. Cool. Look at that Irish team. Luckily, Johnny Sexton's retired in real life, so we haven't got to play him ever again as an Englishman. Here we go, then. Let's get it. Come on, Romania. Oh, cheeky offloads against the Irish. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, here we go. Turning it over straight away. Yeah, that's what I like. I hope Rugby 24, particularly if there is a World Cup mode, they have all the anthems and things like that for the game. And the hacker, of course. Oh, he's gone for a cheeky quick line out. Oh, they've turned it over deep inside R22. Now they've got the offside advantage. But, ah, oh, take your pick. Bundyaki goes over. That was my fault, that was, for going for a quick line out. Team wasn't ready. Yep, yeah, they do have the hacker Luke in this. Um, rugby 22. I haven't really played Rugby 22 since my Stade Francais series, which is on the channel, where I played a whole French league campaign as Stade Francais. We got an injury. We're looking for a prop. Do hook up prop. Gordas, that'll do. That'll do lovely. Cornflake Raid is Jack Sheps. How the devil are you, Sheppy? Just in time to see Romania pull off the biggest shock in Rugby World Cup history. We've already missed Uruguay it beat the All Blacks with a monstrous comeback. Tackle him. Sexton. There we go. Ah, oh, terrible pass. It's the mighty cornflake. How are you doing, Mucker? Just already given my predictions for the weekend. So England 120, South Africa 3. Argentina 55, All Black 7. The All Blacks haven't got no chance because they're not starting DMAC. Where's Caleb Clark? Oh, cheeky up and under. Backfired straight to Keenan. Come on, Romania. Sexton again. Oh, nice. Offload. Here we go. Oh, they've turned it inside the 22. Just when we were knocking on the door. What a kick that is. Here we go. Nice line out work. Loving your work. Lions tour. Cool. Dear me. Where are the Lions go next? It's Australia, isn't it? They hardly need anyone. They can take an Irish B team and they'd still beat Australia. 
The only sad thing for the Lions tour is how many Englishmen? One? Toji? Maybe Farrell? That's about it. One more pass. Here we go. Come on, Romania. Let's make things happen. Offload. Come on. One more. Another one. Ugh. We're on the 22. Oh, no. The ball is unplayable in the ruck. Luckily, we got advantage. Will we be kicking a three? Is what we need to consider. Got it, haven't we? We want to win this game? We've got... Uh, we've got a... Why is the arrow pointing like that but it says zero kilometers? Have I fluffed this up? Yes, I have. Unbelievable. Poor Romania. Well, that was... Oh, look at that for a kick again. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Now they've won the line out, of course they have. What's he done there? Is that a drop goal? Right, let's go the whole length of the pitch, come on. Nope, not quite. And they've won it back again. How has he got through that tackle? Nice. Oh, that was a high tackle. We've got an advantage now. And we've also... We're over! On the stroke of half time. Not sure where the fullback went there. Was he the one that made the high tackle? Really not sure. I'm going to spin a wheel, be right back. You go spin that wheel, Jelly. Shirk has just gone over. We could go in at half time absolutely level right now. Bang. Add the two. Just about. Ooh, half time. The almighty shock of almighty shocks is on. Romania going to take out the former world number ones. This is another good thing about this game. The highlights. Look at this highlights package. How can a game so old have so many good features and cutscenes. Incredible. Right, let's get underway. Let's not hold back any longer. Let's try and trick them. We're going to go to the blind side. We're going to go to the weak side. Go on, Popper. Who won that? Oh, Hampson did. Yep, Romain Romania playing well at the minute, Lewis. Can we cause the upset? Johnny Sexton with that boot again. Up to the 22. Have you complete, I completed all of the challenges back in the day, but I've not gone into the challenges on the updated modded version. Yeah, I mean anything like that, Mad Dragon. Highlights. I mean, I know on the cricket games, I think they have like a rough sort of highlights package. Oh! 
Dimitru. We've turned it. Um, but yeah. Just some of particularly in like the replay menus and things like that. A free cam for getting screenshots for pit, particularly for the likes of us. Really being able to sort of use the replay footage, but not even not even that having to go into it yourself. Just in the game itself, beautiful replays, TV style presentation, which helps the average the average guy. I said the people who don't play rugby games, even if they sort of see their friends playing it, they see these highlights packages, things like that. Oh, that looks like real TV. That looks good. Maybe I'll take a chance and pick that game up. Which way is this game going to go? Keep trying to charge Sexton down, you just know the kick's coming. Imagine a rugby game. That, ah, they keep winning that. It had the same sort of highlights, presentation. That's going to be a, a penalty. As like an NBA 2K. I don't know if you guys have played the NBA 2K games. But you have like a studio with presenters. You have halftime reports. You have people on the sidelines of games. You have commentary which is constantly updated throughout the year. Um, I mean... The people in... Oh, what a kick this is from the halfway line. He's not... No, he's missed it. Thank God for that. Yeah, Lewis, unfortunately, that is where EA Sports priorities lie. Ultimate Team in FIFA or EA FC is the money spinner. Can you imagine a rugby game with the NBA 2K, 2K, oh no, he's taken it into touch. 2K style graphics. Imagine having a like a Six Nations studio with like Johnny Wilkinson and Lawrence Delalio that goes to them at half time and they run through the game. Of course, I know NBA 2K has a mammoth budget compared to what a rugby game could have. I'm just speaking hypothetically. How amazing would it be? But if Rugby 24 could just implement any sort of extra cutscenes, the team showing up before the game, the warm ups, play a bus even. Oh, he's knocked that on, hasn't he? Nope, looks like it's gone backwards. We're dealing with an almighty amount of pressure right now. But they've off have they offloaded it straight to us? Nope. And a Fleer, crunching hit. Come on, Romania, stand strong. Sexton with the drop goal. He's nailed it, hasn't he? Of course he has. Of course he's nailed it. Um, you've missed Romania taking it to Ireland, Jelly Fan. Unfortunately, Mr. Sexton's just knocked over a drop goal. So we've got 10 minutes left to get ourselves a try if we want to win the game. Thing is, Ireland just win every single line out on your throw. The ratings are crazy. Good tackle on Hanson. Come on, win that. How much is Rugby 24 going to be? I. Uh, I imagine fairly expensive. Cheapest, maybe 50 something pound. If it really is okay and they're pushing it as a AAA game, probably closer to 70 pounds on the next generation of consoles. Can't we turn the ball over? Yeah, I mean, all of the Rugby 08 mechanics probably the best in all fairness right go 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 pick it up go 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 why are you so slow oh we're into touch damn it 
Was that our one and only chance? Unless we could somehow win this line out, which we cannot. Oh. Unlucky Romania, you put up a very, very good fight. Are we going for another game? I think the line outs in Rugby 22. Yeah, I quite like them actually. But they were quite easy. Nope. I, well, I can't guarantee that obviously every time, but. Um, I've not experienced any viruses or anything like that. Oh dear me, we're going to have to play one more, aren't we? We're going to have to get the spring box in. I mean, we did get a losing bonus point, didn't we, in that game against Ireland? Go on then, let's get the spring box in as well. This may well be the last game. see what we can do against those spring box. Um, I absolutely cannot stand Rugby 22's goal kicking. The in-play kicking is okay. Um, rugby Challenge 4, that was okay. But I still really, really like Rugby 08. All of the mechanics in Rugby 08 is not just nostalgia speaking, because it is probably the best rugby game about just simple nothing to it just an arrow hold down hit the target monitor the wind and everything like that making sure that's all balanced easy peasy all right here we go come on Romania get him down get down Fafta clerk there's no head and shoulders adverts tonight Take his hair out for Mullen. Hopefully he'll be picking up a lot of fantasy points for me. Against England. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. No, they're playing on. The Toit. Misses one tackle, misses two tackles. We've got an advantage now. Certainly not taking a quick penalty. We will kick to touch. No, we won't, because it's a knock-on. Look at our scrum power. Putting the spring box to shame, and we've gone straight through the middle. Boulder to pop up. Come on, get it. Quick ball, quick ball. Yeah, you can't really do any quick chips, can you, on Rugby 08, which is a shame. Offloads galore. You can do, obviously, a high up and under. Dimitru, he's as he burned Colby. He almost burned Colby on the outside. Are we inside the 22? We are, but of course. They turn it over. Advantage South Africa. Are they going to take the line out or is it going to come back? No. Nope. Cool. What are the chances we're going to win a line out against South Africa? Quite good, actually. Up and under. Let's give them some practice for England because this is England's tactic. Right, let's go. Come on. Two on one. Here we go. Away you go, Dimitru. You a beauty. The spring box have been sucker punched. Look at that. Like the whole team chasing one player. Boom, boom, boom. Really looking forward to this weekend semi-finals. Look at this kicking mechanic. Simple. Line it up. You've got a lot of movement within the arrow as well. You can go up, you can go down before you start striking. Got 
take you got to look at the wind and the speed, everything like that. So there is a bit of variance to him. I can't believe he didn't make that kick. Like I said it, it's a bit sort of bittersweet, really, when you get to this sort of stage of the World Cup because it's fantastic. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, Dimitru! No, you didn't. What a sidestep! Do you think we actually have a chance of beating these Springboks? Of course we got a chance. It's a it's a head to head game. We have got a chance. It's a small chance. But we got a chance. Um Yeah, I mean we're gonna have to be at a hundred percent. Springboks are gonna have to have a slightly off game, our tactics are gonna have to work perfectly. Um a lot of things have got to go right for England. Dimitru, MVP. Definitely is. Well, look at this. This is what I mean. Take a look at the arrow. You don't just move it left and right. You can move it up and down. So if you want more of a flat kick, you can move it right down. Still use plenty of power, and it should give you more distance. Well, that's completely backfired, hasn't it? Completely backfired. We've only gone and hit the post. Why is England winning first? Rugby World Cup or Football World Cup? I mean, probably at the minute, you'd have to say the Football World Cup is closer than a Rugby World Cup. Well, I mean, how can you? England are in the semi-finals of the Rugby World Cup, so, I mean, technically, they're closer to winning that first than they are a Football World Cup. But say they go out to the Springboks on Saturday, what are they going to win first? I mean, they got to the World Cup semi-finals, was it, in the football? Got to the finals of the Euros. So you'd have to say they're banging down the door of the football tournaments. A lot better than they are the rugby ones. You can't even win a Six Nations. You can't even get close in a Six Nations. Oh, what a tackle that is. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? He's caught the ball. He's tackled him after it. South Africa are desperate already going for the quick tap. We're not even at half time yet. Yeah, quarter finals of the World Cup. So, I mean, they've got further in the Rugby World Cup. And then the Cricket World Cup is going on now is a complete disaster. The toy, as usual, takes about Anvermulen. We've got 500 players to bring him down. Look at that from Pollard. He needs to get his swimming goggles on, doesn't he? That was a hell of a dive. Look at this. Bang. Out of nowhere. Well, South Africa certainly needed that. We've got another injury. These Romanians get injured. All over the place, fly half. That'll do. Yeah, all, all I can tell you is they lost to Afghanistan in the cricket, so I think they're struggling to get through. I mean, they are the holders of the Cricket World Cup, our England. Um, Christ, we're not at half time and it's only a three point lead now. Crunching tackle. Take that, my pimpy. Get yourself injured again, son. Box kick from Faf. Is that going to go out? Did I touch it? He's gone for a cheeky quick pen. A quick line out. Now we've won a penalty. Happened here, then is that half time? Oh, I keep forgetting there seems to be that glitch. If we kick it into touch, then it goes to half time, so we'll keep it in play. Oh, 
that looked quite high. Shoulder first. Can we get the TMO involved? No, we cannot. That will be interesting as well on Rugby 24. The TMOs. Will they have a TMO sort of system? Imagine that. Imagine having the graphics to show like a little office with a couple of uh, referees looking at screens. That's going to be a penalty to South Africa. Dangerous tackle. So you would think they're going to take the three. Yes, Lewis, there is a fantasy game for the English Premiership. I've got videos on my channel showing you how to play. I do team selection videos as well each week on it. Round two went up this morning, team selection video. Join my league, it's all on the Super Brew app. Round one was a lot of fun. Ten points apiece. All you got to do is go on Super Brew, join the Premiership Fantasy Rugby. It's a bit different to the Rugby World Cup one. You need a squad of 23 rather than 15. And you pick your 15 from the 23 each week. You can make four, four transfers a week. Similar sort of point system. But yeah, videos on my channel. Check it out. I've got a how to play the Premiership Fantasy Rugby video. And how to join in that video, I also tell you how to join my league. If you look at any of my Premiership Fantasy Rugby videos, whether that's team selection videos, whatever it may be, all the links are in the description of those videos to join my league. Oh, I know Super Brew, but only played a result guessing game in football. Who was the centre that Bristol signed? There was hype around. Um, um, Vakatawa. I mean, they signed three incredible centres this year, Bristol. They've got Yancey Van Rensburg, who they picked up from London Irish after uh, they went bust. They've signed Ravuvu, the Fijian centre. He's yet to play, obviously. He's been with Fiji at the World Cup. And then they've now signed Vakatawa, who made his debut in the first game of the season, came off the bench. Didn't really have to, didn't really showcase anything. But of course, he is a massive, massive name in the world of rugby. He was meant to be retiring because of a heart condition, but he's back. Go on, Lewis, join my league. It's a good bit of fun. Advantage, South Africa. This game could go either way. There we go, they're going for a scrum, of course they are, they're the spring box. Always got a scrum. Even when you're calling a mark inside your 22. Uh, oh. Just like Johnny Sexton did in the previous game, Pollard has decided to take the drop goal. Big kick, come on, chase that, chase that. Lovely kick. Nice. Get on top of him. How often do you go to the stadium? Bristol. Um, I don't have... I, I live in Taunton, which is about 30, 40 minutes from Bristol in the car. An hour by train. Um, I have a full-time job as well. So... Uh, that's going to be a penalty, isn't it? Yeah, throw not straight. So, I, and because I work in a sport and betting, I can't really have weekends off all the time. Um, so, I mean, so f last season, what did I get to? Sort of five or six games. This season, I've already been to the Barbarians game, the friendly, and then I'm looking to. I missed the first game against Leicester. But I have some time off in at the end of October next week, so I'm hoping to go to the third game, which is at home to Harlequins. Hopefully I'll be there at the gate. Wonder why Henry Island doesn't play much for England. I can tell you why exactly Snow 1X, why Aaron Dower's not playing for England. 
is because supposedly he's had a bust up with Owen Farrell which has got quite heated in training and of course Farrell is the England captain so once you fall out with him you've got no chance of getting in that team even if it's for the good of the team obviously he played quite well against Chile is he quite up to the standard of starting a World Cup semi-final yet? I know he's a very exciting player. He is really, really good and going to be a future England international for sure as Detroit probably wraps up this game for the Springboks. Um, yeah, I don't, even if they were on good terms, I don't think he would have started. I think he's shown that he wants to go with Johnny May and daily in these big games. What's the average price of an English Premiership game? All depends where... I mean, I don't tend to pay much more than £30 for Bristol games. When I went to see Bristol versus the Barbarians a few weeks back, that was only £20 it cost me. Um, yeah, from a, for a Premiership game, I'm not really fussed where I sit, so I usually go for the cheap seats. And that's usually anywhere from... 25 to 35 pounds at Ashton Gate they have a brand new Lansdowne stand as well which is really modern and renovated good charge down there and that's a bit more if you want to go there it's a lovely stadium Ashton Gate oh we've completely completely bottled this game haven't we now what were we, 10 points to zero up? Can we at least salvage some pride? Well, we've won the ball back there, haven't we? Well, let's go. Off we go, here's the MVP. Yeah, at Ashton Gate you've pretty much got a uh, good view wherever you go, to be honest. It's not really a poor view around there. Not sure about other stadiums. I've been to the Wreck at Bath. That's a bit of a nightmare, a bit of a makeshift stadium with makeshift stands. And Bath itself is a lovely city. But the stadium itself certainly needs a bit of work. I think that's what they are working on. We are coming up to the last few moments of this game. Springboks, unfortunately, have won it. Yolande. Oh, that's a knock-on. Well, that's going to be the end of the game, isn't it? Yep, yeah, that is going to be the end of the game. South Africa celebrate and that is probably gonna be where I end the stream Bristol beating Bath 100 nil that would be incredible I mean there's been some big big scores like that during the Premiership Cup uh, warm-ups to the season there's old Khaleesi yeah, being a Bristol supporter, they do like to chuck the ball about. You do get a lot of entertaining games. So it is good fun going to watch them. But yeah, there we go. Back to Tournament Central. And thank you very much for everyone who joined the stream this evening. Hope Falcons don't place, place last again. Yeah, it's going to be a struggle. They might well be the whipping boys. Um, yeah. I had a great, glad you had a great time in the stream, Lewis. I don't get to stream as much as I would like. I really don't. I've got a house full in my personal life. Um, I've got three kids. Um, I'm married. Um, so I, I only really record videos when I've got days off at work, when they're all at school. Of course, streaming is hard because they're here most of the time. Luckily tonight, 
I've got a bit of a free house, which is why I jumped on for a stream. I would love to stream more, but I can only sort of do it when and if and when I can. But it makes it really enjoyable when I come on tonight for, what, three hours? Speak to all you great guys in the chat. Lewis, Snow one x R1. Um, who else have we had? Jelly fan, of course. Mad Dragon. Cornflake and the guys. Mighty. Jack Sheps. Luke. All of those boys. Appreciate you all. Thanks for an enjoyable evening. And yeah, we've got an exciting weekend of rugby ahead. The semi-finals starting tomorrow night. All Blacks versus Argentina. Of course, if you have enjoyed, if you if for whatever reason any of you listening in the chat are not subscribed, please do. I have channel memberships as well, um, where you get to see my fantasy team before anyone else. Hopefully when Rugby 24 comes out, there'll be a lot more content for the members. You get special badges, emoji, things like that. Um, Rugby 24, hopefully you guys, the members will get to see some of the content before anyone else. Hopefully I get early access to the game. That would be amazing. Which means I might be able to show some, you know, unlisted videos to members. Wishing the best of luck to England. Thank you, Lewis. I am hoping for the best, expecting the worst. Like I said, if England can just make things respectable, I will be happy. If they put up a good showing, a really good performance, and they only lose by a few points, then I will more than be more than happy with that. Of course, if they win, brilliant but I can't see it happening against a fantastic South Africa team who I think will probably go on and win the whole World Cup. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Like I said, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment on some of my other videos. Plenty of team selection fantasy videos going on today. Team selection for the Premiership Fantasy Rugby. Updated team selection for the Rugby World Cup. And uh, yeah, channel memberships are live if anyone wants to take that extra plunge in the Bears Gamer community. Not a 2007 World Cup final throwback, yeah. Fingers crossed, no. And yeah, thanks again. I shall say au revoir. Come on, England. Get the job done against the Springboks. 120 points to three, England are going to win. 87 drop goals. Of course, that makes no sense. Freddie Stewart, man of the match, catching all those high balls. You've caught, heard it here first. Anyway, stop rambling. Thanks very much for joining the screen. I've had great fun. Thanks to everyone who popped in to say hello. And those who stuck with it for a while. Lewis in particular, you were the first to comment in the chat and the last. So shout out you, Lewis BP. Really appreciate your support for the whole stream. And yeah, I've been the Bears Gamer. I'll see you in the Virtual Scrum. I'll stick around in the comments for a little bit in the chat. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Come on, England!